Welcome back to Andy Warhol Revelation at the Speed Art Museum. We now find ourselves in a section called Light and Darkness. This is a section that's exclusive to the Speed Art Museum during the exhibition's tour. We often think of Andy Warhol as a figurative artist, but I wanted to highlight Andy Warhol's abstract side. By the late 70s, he was experimenting with different types of abstractions, including shadows, oxidized paintings, and Rocharche paintings. The shadow paintings that you see behind me and in this gallery are based off photo shoots of pieces of cardboard that were photographed to cast shadows. Andy Warhol's assistant, Ronnie Catrone, thought the shadows were interesting because the shadows themselves were abstract, but the things that cast them typically were not. The shadow paintings made in the late 70s were featured on canvas as well as prints on paper. Some of the works feature diamond dust. The diamond dust is actually made of crushed glass to offer brilliance and luminosity to the works. The play of light and darkness is felt when you walk through the gallery. The works themselves have been considered contemplative and they've been compared to flickering candlelight. They've also been compared to Claude Monet's Rouen Cathedral series, which depicts the church's facade throughout different times of the day. The exhibition that debuted this work was well received. In fact, 102 canvases were placed side by side to create this ethereal environmental space, which was purchased by a museum at the time. Thanks for watching. Come see Andy Warhol Revelation at the Speed Art Museum on view through November 29th.